Luke here with Average Optimized and my co-host Madeline. This week's three things is for the book Virtual Freedom by Chris Ducker. If you'd rather read this three things review, then this is all transcribed. So click the link or read it from the website. And this book made me feel intrigued, curious, and now excited to use it in the near future. Quick intro. This book has all five stars in its Amazon rating. Virtual Freedom is 296 pages long paperback and seven hours, 17 minutes long audio. It is advertised on Amazon as follows. Entrepreneurs often suffer from superhero syndrome, the misconception that to be successful, they must do everything themselves. They are not only the boss, but also the salesperson, HR manager, copywriter, operations manager, online marketing guru, and so much more. It's no wonder so many people give up the dream of starting a business. It's just too much for one person to handle. But outsourcing expert and virtual CEO, Chris Ducker, knows how you can get the help you need with resources you can afford. Virtual Freedom is the step-by-step -step guide every entrepreneur needs to build his or her business with the asset of working with virtual employees. Focusing on business growth, Ducker explains every detail you need to grasp from figuring out which jobs you should outsource to finding, hiring, training, motivating, and managing virtual assistants. So, what are three things we can use from this book? Number one, the different types of virtual assistant. This book is all about virtual assistants and using them to grow your business. There are seven different kinds of virtual assistants, VAs. Number one, the general virtual assistant, GVA. Full time, this person would charge $500 to $800 a month, or $3 to $4 an hour. There's an audio video editor, $500 to $1,200 a month. Content writer, $500 to $700 a month. An SEO or web marketer, which is $650 to $850. A graphic designer, web designer, $700 to $1,200. A web developer, 700 to 1400, mobile app developer, 800 to 1400. And if you are running a business and would like to grow and expand your influence and sales numbers, and you are past hiring on a project to project basis, then hiring a virtual staff is the direction that you may want to head in. Now, maybe you aren't big enough yet to hire a whole team of virtual staff, but you're tired of working through all the tedium to get through to actually producing your content and making sales. Well, Chris Ducker has a solution for you. Number two, the GVA, the general virtual assistant, the personal assistant from across the sea. The people that Chris Ducker calls superstars. These people will keep you from doing the things that you shouldn't be doing. As Chris Ducker says, they allow you to start working on your business instead of being trapped working in it. Like I've mentioned before, these are the least expensive options, but they provide the most value. Take for example, a few things that they can be responsible for. Email management, filtering, booking appointments with clients, following up with clients, customers, sending thank you emails and other reminders. Calendar management, Research on certain topics for blog posts, newsletters or other personal errands, purchasing gifts for loved ones, family members online, hotel and flight booking, transcription, yeah, transcription um, creating basic reports, preparing slideshows, setting up social media accounts, managing and updating those social media accounts, filtering and replying to comments on your blog, participating in discussion forums or message boards, and lots more. Make a list of the things that you shouldn't be doing and outsource these things so you can work on growing your business. Number three, managing. How to manage a team or person, let alone a person or team thousands of miles away. Well, there are a few basics to consider, starting with the first element, rewards and incentives. Set company goals, like a sales goal, and reward the team or person if your goal is met. 
More tenured employees should get larger rewards to both teach loyalty to the newbies and to build trust amongst your team members. The type of rewards you use matter too. It is likely that your virtual assistant will appreciate cash much more than any other some sort of gift, as they are probably one of the main providers in their household. You can reward them with prepaid cards or gift cards or just cash. Uh, the other element is reports and meetings. Don't micromanage, but make sure to get weekly and maybe daily reports of what they are getting accomplished, and this will keep them accountable. Have weekly or monthly meetings with your VAs on Skype or something to go over goals and talk about what's going on in the business. And some other tips. Don't give any money accounts or passwords away. If you need your VAs to make purchases for you, set them up with prepaid PayPal accounts or prepaid cards. With each new team member you add to your roster, start with a 30 to 90 day trial period to make sure that they're the right fit. You should always mesh well with your teammates and if you don't, then go out and get another one. There's lots more to this book. Like all different kinds of web applications to streamline your virtual management process, along with different cultural considerations, and in the final bonus chapter describing the 10 most common pitfalls of the new virtual manager. If you decide that hiring a VA is something that you're interested in doing, I highly recommend getting the Virtual Freedom Book by Chris Ducker. Chris Ducker also runs Virtual Staff Finder, a hub in the Philippines dedicated to finding the best VAs for you. If you're interested, check it out at virtualstafffinder.com. Thank you for watching or listening or reading any part of this content. And uh, I'll see you next week with the next three things you can use.